most people, the days before the holidays are stressful and overbearing. Thousands hurry to the mall to buy that last minute gift, and the true spirit of Christmas seems to get lost in J.C. Penney's and Sears. Somewhere far away from people murdering each other for the last Elmo doll, there is a family enjoying their annual Christmas tradition. are there. We bake the, make the cookies, they cut them out, we bake them. And we get pizza. They decorate them and then we order pizzas and we all have dinner together. The cookie dinner isn't a new thing. It's a family tradition that's been going on for a long time. For over 20, 20 years. Over 20 years. years. Been a long time. Yeah, wow. A lot of cookies. That's a lot, a lot of, of cookies, cookies under our belt. <laughs> yeah, a lot of icing. <laughs> oh. Now we've added more cookie cutters, so we have something different after all these years. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason we chose to make these cookies today, as opposed to these sugar cookies, is because when we you know, make all the cookies, there's so much icing and so much cookie. sprinkles and just oh, huge tubs really of cookie dough. It's really it messy. It's really messy. Every everything is covered in flour. Plus the little ones, you want to be sure they have their own bowls of frosting yeah. because it's in their mouth. The spoons, everything's in their mouth, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to eat that. <laughs> that yeah, right? probably is some sort of health code we're not passing. Yeah. <laughs> the child saliva. But they all love it. Mm -hmm. Like a, a year later and we'll look under the, the table and there'll be like cookie dough stuck. I don't know, you'll find something. Yeah. So they all have to roll their own dough out. Starting from the scratch, we do do the dough, but then they have to do the rolling, the cutting. All the children. Mm -hmm. So you had to teach them how to do that. Yeah. I guess we would. I, you yes. don't think about it. Pass down the knowledge, and then once you get too old to be decorating Christmas cookies, you stop. <laughs> Keep stirring until you get it mixed up. At least we don't have to decorate them. If you could describe Cookie Awesome Day in two words, what would they be? Flower mess. Flower and mess. mess. Flower mess. A lot of flour and it's a big mess.
Crispy or soft? Later that day, I joined Zach in his home to talk a little bit more about the cookie Christmas dinner. We usually have it here, but um, we decided to... But you do the cookie dinner here? Yeah, we do the cookie dinner here, but we decided to go over there and make it easier on her. Hmm. Does it feel like Christmas? Yeah, it kind of does. It's actually snowing outside and it's got a little Christmassy feel to it, but uh, it was different not having all the, the whole family there. I feel that. But I didn't really feel like that was pretty much her uh, teaching me how to make cookies. And... You know, you you kind of seem to lack cookie making skills. Okay. I felt like you. I feel, hung up the jersey. I feel like, yeah, I feel like you've. You you boast that you're the founder. I'm the founder. But homie couldn't make I can't a cookie. Keep up with the new technology. Your grandma. It's not how I did it back then. Your grandma I, made the cookies today. I got down and dirty with the flour. Yeah. And the dough. I can't touch flour. Are you allergic? No, I just don't like it. Yeah, it's not. What would you say the the ratio of cookies <laughs> that day? How many cookies are you making? Man, the kid. One kid could put out anywhere between. You know, depends on his age, really. Uh, the youngest one's almost two, so she she doesn't really do. A lot. She doesn't make too many cookies. But the Probably two. The older end, the seven eight year olds, they really they're like they should they have a career. They're ready to make cookies. It's like the little Keebler elves. I feel like I could go for a pizza. pizza. Which we usually get pizza when everyone's over here because it's too much food for there's too many people for try to make a bunch of food and then try to do all the cookies at the same time. So your family's huge. Yeah, there's. Like sixteen thousand. grandchildren. <laughs> yeah. Sixteen grandchildren. Yeah, and we all live within a mile of each other out here, so And you all make cookies on special cookie day. I feel like we could talk about cookie fun day for I know, hour. there's so much to know. Uh, and then after that we take the cookies that are already made and we go back over there and everyone gets together for Christmas day like and you, dinner. Do you eat the leftover cookies? Yeah, you bring the cookies over yeah. there. And so uh, that's pretty much the tradition behind the uh, Christmas cookie making. No a couple of days before Christmas, usually. Huh? This year, no. Sherry sums up the reason why the tradition is so important to her. Yeah. It's a nice way to spend the evening. Mm -hmm. Everyone gets together. Your family, you know, do something a little more relaxing mm -hmm. after all the shopping and the grocery buying and getting ready for food for our army. Yeah. On the outside, cookie Christmas dinner seems like an insignificant part of the Christmas chaos. But in reality, it's an escape from all of that. From the crazy malls to the constant dead experience during the holidays, the cookie Christmas dinner is as sweet as the cookies made that day. Bringing loved ones together every year and ultimately adding a secret holiday spice to the ingredients of family.